Okay? Yes. <laughs> All right. Hello, I'm Rosie. I have the Knitting with Rosie blog. I'm a knitting teacher in Warwickshire, where I live with my family. And this is part two of my video diary, where I am taking you through the process of knitting a jumper for my youngest son. Not this one, this is Hector. Yes. This is my eldest son. <laughs> and today, we're going to be dyeing the wool. Last time we skeined the wool up, didn't we, Hector? Yes. So do you want to show them the skeins of wool? Oh great, I'm going to be holding it again. <laughs> Here we are. So we've got these that are previously dyed, but I'm going to dye over them. And so we're going to dye the wool today, and then I'm going to show you in other videos how to come up with colour work and and actually knit the and actually knit the jumper and design yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when yeah, I'm yeah. knitting my 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 um my teddy bear jumper. Oh you are knitting your teddy bear jumper aren't you? Yeah. Yeah that's coming on great. And we and we forgot to bring it. Oh, yeah, yeah. No I think I did bring it. Because where are we? France We're in France, yeah. So the last video we were back in back at home in Warwickshire and yeah. today we're in France. We're on yeah. holiday aren't we? Yeah. In Tour de Way. Yes, um we you didn't see us for a long time because we were on a ferry. Yeah, we were on a ferry, that's right. So shall shall we get on with the dyeing? Yes. Okay, so what have we got? We've got the wool. And we've got the onion skin. Yeah, we've got the onion skins ready for the dye pot. Shall I just get the green stuff? Not yet, Hector. Not yet. Shall I just get the case? Um yeah, okay, you go and get that. So, I have my dye pot that I actually bought here in France at a Bracon a couple of years ago now. And um, and that should be, that's plenty big enough for at least three skeins, I would say. I've got two today. And then I've got, yeah, onion skins, wool, dye pot, and then I've got my solution, my mordant solution. I normally use an aluminium sulfate, but I didn't want to bring a big bag, thank you, of white powder through customs. So I thought I'll go without, and I don't think you need it for onion skins. Anyway, so I've got this uh, instead. What's this, Hector? Um, this. Oh, um, uh. Can you remember what it is? It's a nail. An iron nail. Oh, iron nail. In vinegar. Yeah. That yeah. I'm going to in use vinegar. instead. This just changes the pH of the dye and creates different, um, different colours. And the iron is meant to, meant to make it darker. Um, so I'm going to see if it works. I'm not going to add the vinegar because I, I've used that a few times and I don't like it. So we're going to just add the iron key. Um, I think I'm just going to add it when I boil up the onions. I'm going to take you through every step with my Wait, helper. You, you said, you said nail. It, it's a nail, but you, but you said it's a key again. Oh, I meant a nail. Same but, thing. Is it starting to rain? Yeah. Okay, we better get in and start dying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to walk over there. Okay. So we've come inside because it's starting to rain a little bit, and we're going to first things first. We need to soak the wool. So I'm going to soak this in, this is super wash wool I should say, so it's pretty hard to felt, it shouldn't felt, you can wash it at 30 Mommy. degrees normally. So I'm going to uh, put it into some... Mummy! Yeah? What about if you introduce me? <laughs> okay, introducing my helper Hector. Okay, and we're going to put it into... It's pretty hot water. Well, the water here is very hot. Um, so I'm going to add, put it in here and we're going to let it soak for half an hour. And Not half can, an hour, an hour and a half at and least. You could, and you can see this is a lovely house. Yes, <laughs> you can see it's a lovely house. Uh, you're going to take people on a tour of the garden after the video, aren't you, Hector? Yeah. yeah. So we'll put a little film of Hector's, Hector's tour at the end. So, and I've added some, a little bit of uh, washing up liquid, just a little bit, and that just opens up the fibres 
so all the dye gets into the wall and saturates all the wool. So next, we're going to go over to the oven and do the dye pot. Mummy, yeah. guys, can I go for a wee? Yes, of course you can go for a wee. <laughs> okay, so, we've got our dye pot. Yes. <laughs> we've got it about half full of water, just yes. a bit over half. And, I'm going to add the... It's, and it's really hot. Yeah. So, um, if you have, if you dare have a child or a baby... Oh, you dare, <laughs> yeah. Go, and if the child is f three years old, don't make it touchy hot water if you're a knitting teacher. Oh, what, are you Are you okay because you're four? Oh, yeah. Oh. I, I, I'm a good boy. Oh, right, brilliant. You are a good boy. Okay, so should we add the onion skins? Do you want to add these in? Oh, I'm going to be crying. You're not going to cry because they're just the skins. Oh, it's not the actual onion. Okay, so we've got just all um, brown onion skins. If you mix the brown and the red, you don't get such a nice colour. So we've just got the brown one. We've got loads, haven't we? Oh, I've got some red ones in there. Here we go. Take those out. And so, yeah, we've got loads. Yeah. That's about as accurate as I can you be. Really, <laughs> but I think you really need a mixing thing to, to mix it all in. Yeah. It, it, it won't mind if you, if some is at the bottom, right, Mommy? That's right, Hector. It doesn't matter if they're at the bottom. So, are we going to add the, add the key? Yeah. Oh, not the key, what is it? The, the nail. Do you want to put it in? Okay. Just chuck it in. Ah, hot! Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's not that, it's not that hot. Well, um, just to <laughs> say, um, I just touched it and don't you dare touch it because it's really hot. I think you'll be all right. Here we go. Okay. Let's turn it on. Now, don't touch it now because this is on. So I'm going to let this, I'm going to bring this up to um, a, a simmer for about 45 minutes. And then I'm going to check on the colour and then I'm just going to keep it going till it's, till the, till it's at the colour I want. And I'll show you what colour that is when we get there. Okay. And why are, why are you waiting Look what I made. Yeah, it's a koala. Yeah, it's a koala. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the dye has been on for 45 minutes. I took the nail out at about half an hour in and I've taken the excess water out of the wool so I need my helper <laughs> here we are there he is so Hector can you check the colour of the dye okay so look you have that don't put your fingers in the water it has been cooling down but just dip the end of that in there and we'll see what colour it's gone look at that I'm going to show that to the camera. So it's a lovely ambery golden orange, isn't it? Yes. So should we put the wool in? Can I do one? Yeah, you can do one. So I'm just going to pop this in now and I'm going to put it back on the stove, uh, bring it up to a simmer and the heat of bringing it up to the simmer will fix the colour in the wool and then I'll leave it on for a little bit and I'm just going to leave it to cool down in the pot, take it out and it'll be done. All right, Hector? Uh, yes, and, yeah? and you'll notice we're outside again. Yeah, it stopped raining, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, should we put it in? Yeah. Go on then. Oh. Okay, and I'll put this one in round here. Don't put your fingers in. Why? Right. Just mummy do it because it's still a bit hot. That looks amazing. Yeah, it's all, the, the wool is all co um, orangey coloured now. Yeah, see? and the water will probably go transparent as it soaks up all the colour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he doesn't like it. <laughs> Okay, 
so this is it. This is our finished wool, isn't it, Hector? Yes. And do we like it? Yeah. We love it, don't we? So it is goes from bright, bright yellows. I'll bring it a bit closer. Bright, bright yellows to Mommy. these really dark, rusty oranges. Um, yes, Hector. Rosie, <laughs> yes. can yes. I go for a drink? Yes, you can go for a drink. <laughs> so, yeah, so really pleased and actually really easy. Seems as I'm not at home. Uh, I thought it might be a bit tricky, but actually it turned out really well. I'm really pleased. I think it's going to make a really lovely jumper. And it's exactly, well, the, the darker colours is exactly what I wanted. So, so that's really lovely. And next I'm going to dye with this. Yeah, and what liking. is this? Liking. And this is from this big tree that we're sat under here, isn't it? And and what did was there something you wanted to tell you about this, Hector? Why does it grow here? Um because the air is so clean. It is, isn't it? And the tree and it must be so clean that the tree must have grown higher so it so it can so it can so it can grow liking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and um, so I'm not sure what colour you get with it. I know you can dye with it, uh, but I can't remember what colour you get with it. I'm guessing brown, but um, which is well, what I want. I, so we'll, well see I'm anyway. I'm guessing yellow. Okay, well we'll find out when we get home. And um, and in the next video, I'm going to have um, this dyed up. Yes, and, and uh, we're going to talk talk about the pattern what yes that's what we're going to do we're going to talk about what um making charts for color work and i'm going to design and a chart patterns. for the jumper yeah yeah that's what i'm going to do <laughs> so so that'll be the next video so we're going to say bye now hector mm -hmm. and then we're going to you're going to take people on a bit of a tour and I'll, there's also around here the, the history of round here is um, from weaving and spinning the wool and we found a bit of information around the town, haven't we? Yeah. Or the village. So, um, so we'll show you a bit of that as well. But should we say bye now? Bye. Bye. What is that? Like a picture. Don't fall over again. Well, oh, you could. Did you hurt yourself? Well, Hector, if you look at the pictures, what do you think it, it says that people did here? Uh, I don't know. Well, is that a spinning wheel at the top, like Mummy's? Yes. So do you think they, they, did, they spun wool? And did they get them from the sheep at the bottom? Yes. So, and, and they sold it to the fishermen. <laughs> yeah, and they sold it all to the fishermen. So, because they did weaving here, so they had the sheep, they sheared the sheep, they spun the wool, and then they did the weaving, and they washed all the wool in the See? lavoir. No, hey, in the lavoir. He means show off. And this is my four years old chap, Richard. Hello. And today I'm going to give you a tour of the garden. Here's a lovely river. Ooh. Um, which, which, what is rivers made out of? Is it made out of fish? No, it's made out of water. Ooh, what kind of water? Is it fresh water or salt water? Fresh water. Good. Now, over here. And now, Club. Club tree. No, it is yet. Yeah.